Greetings. Tuesday the 24th of March. Oh, about 9.46 in the morning. So, what have I got for you today? Well, I have a company called Builder Scrap. Now, at the Hargold exhibition, um, there was a little stand in the corner which um, took my fancy. And at the end of the exhibition, I went down there and did an interview with a guy called Ed McGee. And it turns out he's setting up a website where people can trade material that they don't want anymore. In other words, if I've got 30 or 40 bricks left over, you can advertise it on this site for free. And as long as you don't charge any money, I suppose, then it'll stay there until somebody comes and gets it. There's things like um, sandstone curbings, um, broken bricks, patio windows, all sorts of stuff that's on there that if you just have a quick browse around, it may be just well worth your while going on the site, registering and um, seeing what's available. I'm a big fan of this. I think it's a great idea. I think it's, <clears throat> it's going to save people quite a lot of money, both in terms of their skip bills, but also in people who want um, like buildings, not building societies, like um, associations who are trying to get the costs down. If one of their site guys goes on there and sees they've got 40 tonne of, of hardcore, well, that's great. Um, go and pick it up. Um, I wish this guy every success. I think it's a great idea. So uh, sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so who are you? My name's Ed McGee. I run Builderscrap.com, which is the sustainability and environmental division of a construction business based in the Northwest. Excellent. And Build Scrap? Basically, it is a free to use website for the construction trade to talk to each other to try to use up what goes in a skip that probably shouldn't do. We, try, we plan to do this by creating a network of um, like-minded tradespeople in every borough, in every town, in every city. And as well as uh, the, the building trade, this can also be of benefit to voluntary organisations and third sector businesses social enterprises etc that don't have access to the current supply chain of construction material. Excellent. Thanks very much. Pleasure. And I'd like to see more of these centres set up so that perhaps if there is um, um, a need, then you can go and pick up them from a central point rather than going to somebody's yard. Um, I think it may be treading on the toes of some of the, um, the uh, other sites that are around that, that trade in this sort of stuff, but I think they're more the classic um, building materials. But hey-ho, I think it's a great idea.